Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So uh, this section is for the customer maintenance applet. Okay. So overview of the uh, topic for the customer maintenance applet. Uh, first, we go to the introduction and then we go to the customer listing. So in the customer listing, I will show you how to search the customer, how to create or update the customer information. Then next, we go to the customer category maintenance. Um, the next one will be the customer credit terms and credit limit uh, setting. After that, we go to the import function. Um, next one, we go to the applet setting and the, uh, the last one will be the Q&A section. To customer maintenance applet. The customer maintenance applet is a business function designed to manage and support a company customer base. It includes the following key features and functionalities. Customer database management, maintain and update customer records. Customer segmentation, categorize customer based on various criteria. Credit management, oversee and manage customer credit limit and payments. Transaction history, track and review customer transaction records. Customer statements, generate and manage statements to, uh, for customer. Okay, so uh, in the customer listing, so uh, we can search the customer by the keyword. You can search by the name or by the phone number. Then beside that, you can search by the entity type is a corporate type or individual type. Okay. So uh, beside that part, you can also filter the customer by the modification date. Okay. So uh, you also can search by the sales agent, search by the uh, customer categories, Okay, so in the customer listing, we can show uh, a lot of information, then you can customize your columns. Okay, so when we go to the customer create an update, so these are the main uh, tab that we can update our data. So uh, there will be around 21 tabs. So later on, I can go to one by one. Okay, then I uh, the next one, I directly show you the uh, customer applet. Okay, when you go to the account.com, you can just search the keyword customer, then you can see this icon. So this is the under the customer uh, maintenance, then you can click. So once you click into the customer maintenance, you can see uh, on the left hand side, the side menu, the customer listing, customer, uh, this is the category listing, credit terms listing, credit limit listing, file import, few types of the import uh, function. Okay, then uh, the next one, you can see the setting over here. Okay, so when we go to the customer main uh, page, okay, so this is a customer listing. This is the search function that I mentioned just now. You can search by any keyword, okay, or filter by uh, uh, status or search by the um, sales agent or by the categories. Okay, so this uh, this is the toggle. So you can change to page one or page two. Let's say for example, now I go to page one. Then when I view the customer, so the information will be in uh, one page. Okay, then you can just go back. So when you change back to two by default, then when you go to uh, view the customer, then the information will be uh, uh, in the two pages. Okay, so from the menu here, the uh, sub uh, tab, you can just move left and right to view more information. Okay, so to create a new customer account, you can just click the plus button. So from here, you uh, this is the main uh, tab. So by default, uh, you need to fill in the customer name. Okay, then customer account number will be auto generate from the system. You also can key in your own preference number, the general uh, the own running number. Okay, and then uh, for the customer type, few types of the customer. So by default, we go to the entity is customer. Okay. And then for the, uh, sorry, that one is entity type. So entity type, we set default to customer. 
if the customer also your supplier you can just uh take for uh two customer or supplier okay and then for the customer type is corporate or individual so for the corporate account we need to update the customer registration number okay so if i change to individual so for the individual you need to change to update the customer uh, passport information or ic information okay so uh the difference between corporate and individual account Beside that, uh, you also can update the customer currency, the customer country, and the posting part is under ARAP type. So by default, it's all go to AP, uh, sorry, AR track adapter. Uh, so AR track adapter, this information you can set uh, under your organization structure. Uh, the posting part for the account receivable for the AR track is go to which uh, default GL code. So usually for the AR track, we go to account receivable GL. Okay. So AR other, we go to the other receivable GL. Okay. So if uh, this customer also your supplier, you can set your supplier posting over here. Okay. And then uh, phone number, email. So phone number, email is a mandatory field for the e-invoice. Okay. Uh, then you can update the customer. Uh, this is for the SSD exemption uh, number, GST number, or withholding tax number. Okay. Beside that part, you also can set the customer default pricing scheme. So this one linked to your dog item maintenance, the pricing scheme. So uh, by default, let's say, for example, you set to uh, this uh, EMP price, uh, EMP list price. So by default, every time we create a sales transaction to this customer account, so the system will take the EMP list price, sales price uh, to this customer account. And then you can set the default sales agent uh, to this customer so that every time when you create a, a select the, this customer, the default sales agent will display. So this one is a default uh, category. One customer, we can add multiple category. So you can just set one to the default. Okay. So beside this part, uh, we also can set the default sale return pricing scheme. So for example, every time this customer return to the company, what is the pricing scheme that we capture for the sale return? So by default, usually we go to sales invoice because uh, based on the e-invoice uh, criteria, every return we need to take to the invoice. So this part will set to the based on sales invoice. Okay. So the next one will be the e-invoice. Okay. So e-invoice information. So this e-invoice is referred to the buyer uh, information. So uh, just now when you key in the customer name, so th this name will become your buyer name. Okay. So the buyer ID type is uh, passport, IC, business registration number or army code. So this uh, you can change uh, based on your customer information. And then this buyer registration number, ID passport, you can just key in the information. Like for example, IC, you just fill in your IC number over here. Okay. So buyer D number, uh, you can ask a buyer to provide you D number. So this part, you can just key in the two character plus the 11 digit T number. Then you can just click verify to check the information. Okay. So beside that one, uh, you need to update the buyer contact information. The Sorry, uh, buyer contact number, uh, email. So these two will be the information that register under the buyer, uh, the my e-invoice uh, portal site, okay? They are MSIC number, so uh, it's the business activity uh, information. So this one is uh, optional. Okay, so the tourism ID, the buyer SST number is uh, optional. So if no information, you need to key in an A, not applicable. Okay, so the buyer address, you can just uh, select the address from the uh, address part here. So uh, is this is the primary address or uh, secondary address or the building address or the shipping address. So you can just select from the drop down list. Then the next one is a paper configuration. 
So if you receive any, uh, if you want to link to the paper, then uh, this customer part you need to uh, link to the paper information. Okay. Address part, uh, you can add more address, uh, like your billing address, shipping address. So this is the address part. So you can fill in the information. So you also can set as a default or set as default for the e-invoice address. Okay, so the next one is a staff uh, tab. So for the staff, you can add more uh, information for the company staff. Okay, and then uh, any additional remarks to this customer, you can just type in here. Okay, so the customer category, you can uh, set this customer to uh, into which category. So the category I will cover under the category module over here. Okay, so let's say for example, this customer is under uh, category corporate account A. So you can take this customer to corporate account A. The next one is a login. So this is the user login. So you want to restrict the, which customer or uh, sorry, which customer, which salesman can uh, search for the, this customer. You can just add the login information. Uh, the vehicle is for the workshop. So if uh, you have a workshop module, so uh, one customer, you can add more than one vehicle or uh, any vehicle registered under this customer account. Then the payment configuration is a payment mode for the customer. The tax configuration is for the tax, uh, if S, uh, sorry, uh, GST, you can just add a customer type. This is standard rated or zero rated customer account. Okay. So the branch linking, uh, this part is for the uh, e-invoice, uh, sorry, for the intercompany setting. So you can set the customer branch to link to the branch uh, under the organization's uh, effort. Okay. So the branch and the customer branch, these two will be uh, setting for the intercompany. The company linking is uh, to link the customer account to different entity. Uh, in uh, big ledger side, one tenant we support multiple companies. So uh, we can tag the customer to the company so that when we create a transaction, so this customer is belong to which company. So this one also a permission for the salesman, uh, they can search the customer under this company or not. Item pricing. Item pricing is the tab uh, to create, uh, to add on the item for the customer. So let's say, for example, you sell to your uh, dealer. So your dealer site, uh, they have a different uh, item code for the product, different for, from your uh, inventory. So you can just add their information over here. So that uh, when you sell to this customer account, you can select to show the customer item instead of your own item code. Okay, usually this one is uh, we use for the workshop. Okay, so customer credit terms and credit limit. So you can add the credit terms or credit limit from the drop down list over here. So uh, let's say, for example, this customer is under uh, 30 days terms. Uh, the limit will be 1000. So you can customer credit limit and credit terms okay the membership is linked to the membership module we can have one customer uh, linked to the uh, two or three membership account so this one is a linking for the membership part and then this employee is for the internal login to link to the employee applet so you can just attach any information for the customer, like their SSM uh, documentation, like the e-invoice information. So you can just add as an attachment to this customer account. Okay, statement of account. You can generate statement of account uh, under the customer effort. Okay, so you can just uh, generate based on uh, which company. So to send the statement of account to the customer. Okay. The document type is uh, information that um, related to this customer activities. So all the transactions created under this customer will be showing here. So we link to the sales order, sales invoice, post invoice, sale return document. 
Okay, so that means you no need to the sales sales invoice applet to uh search for this customer what is the invoice. So you can just go to the customer uh account to search the history transaction. So these are the summary for the uh main maintenance uh main tab just now and the e invoice tab. Okay, so for the e invoice tab, uh you need to take note about the TIN number. So for the T number. So if customer not provide you any TIN number, you need to set the TIN to the EI 00000010. So uh, in, in the middle will be 90 followed by 10. Okay, so 10 is for the general public TIN. So uh, which is the customer just provide you the IC without the TIN. So you need to key in the 10 or any cash account customer that not provide you any T number or they not require any e invoice. So you need to key into one T zero. So for the foreigner buyer, you key into two zero. Okay. So for four zero is for the government. Okay. So this uh, T number you need to update. And then uh, the e invoice tab, the, this is uh, the mandatory field for the uh, e invoice. Uh, information. If customer not provide you any e invoice, you just uh, key in an A. But you, at least you uh, get the name from the customer. Lah. Okay. Uh, the next one will be the customer category setting. So the customer category, this, uh, this part is uh, to classification or segmentation your, of your customer based on certain criteria. Okay. So this one is flexible and unlimited. So you can just add your customer category. Let's say, for example, your corporate account uh, under different category, like corporate account group A, group B, group C. So you can categorize your customer in different grouping. And then next one will be, uh, you can use for the customer discount uh, under the dif uh, different group. Like customer discount group A is a 30% discount. Uh, discount group B is 20% discount. So you can set the customer discount grouping so that when we create a pricing scheme to this customer account, uh, the system will read the customer discount group. So the customer discount group, we can uh, pay with the pricing scheme, uh, sorry, the price book, price book effort to uh, configure the discount rate and then to apply to the customer uh, pricing. Beside that, you also can group the customer uh, by state. So like a uh, binning area customer, crank valley customer, uh, south uh, area customer. So you can categorize by your state. The next one is a uh, customer credit terms. So a uh, customer credit terms in the system is uh, flexible. So we need to add um, our credit terms to the maintenance side. So let's say, for example, the common one is 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So this one we need to add, uh, add to the customer uh, credit term listing so that we can select from the customer list just now. For the COD, uh, now we also can set uh, the credit term COD. The next one is a class customer credit limit. So the customer credit limit is by Ringgit Malaysia. Uh, we can set by Ringgit Malaysia currency. Then also we can set a different currency for the uh, credit limit. Okay. So uh, this will be the setting part for the customer credit terms limit. Okay. So the next one, I will go to the file import function. So this is a summary for the import file. We can import the master data. So master data just now, like we cover the customer name, customer registration number, customer address information. That one is all under master file. And then uh, for the branch file is to uh, link the branch to the customer account. It's under the branch file. Company file is link the company uh, code to the customer. Okay. Then we can link the employee to the customer. It's under the employee file. Uh, we can tag the customer with different different categories. That one is under customer category file. Okay. So for the credit terms, credit limit, just now I mentioned we need to create first, right? So this one we can use the upload function to update, uh, upload the customer credit terms and credit limit. So if I go to the system, 
you can see the upload function over here. So the first one is the file upload. So this is the listing that you uploaded previously. You can see the information, any error for the previous upload. Uh, you can click plus to download the sample format. And then you just fill in the information, then you just upload the same file to the system. Okay, so uh, when we upload the file, uh, format will be the CSV uh, format. So from here, you can see uh, done, that means uh, successful. Okay, the checking part is uh, any, item, any information that you uploaded. And for the field one, you can see the error. What is the error message for every single field? Okay, so for the uh, branch file, you also can just click plus to download the sample format. Okay, I show you one example for the uh, upload file. So this is one of the upload uh, link with the branch. So you just need to key in the customer code, branch code, and the link type. So you just fill in the information, then save the file to CSV format and upload. Okay. So the next one will be the uh, setting part. Under the application setting, uh, just now when we go to the customer listing, we can see a lot of tab, uh, a lot of information, right? So from the customer application setting, you can just hide the field. So let's say, for example, you need to hide everything, then you just uh, dongle this button, then you just save. Then when we go to hide the field, when we go back to the customer uh, uh, listing this uh, module, you can just uh, hidden the information. Okay, so beside uh, hide the field, we also can hide the tag. So let's say, for example, uh, e-invoice, you don't want to see any e-invoice. So because uh, like phase one, you not implement the e-invoice in phase one, you want to hide the e-invoice, you can just hide the field. Okay, so every tab here, you can just hide. Okay, the next one is the default selection. So just now when we go to customer type, we can select individual or corporate account. If your business is in retail, you can just by default set to individual account. Then set to uh, Malaysia and set the Ringgit Malaysia as currency. Okay, so uh, under uh, business rational, this one you can just add based on your uh, customer uh, category, the business nature. So uh, because if based on the um, the total nature is uh, quite uh, many, so you can just add few for related to your company or related to your business. Okay, so usually uh, no printable format for the customer account. And then uh, for the permission side, uh, for this customer account, we also uh, not many uh, permission uh, control here. So uh, before we go to end, uh, so far any question? Okay. So beside we create a customer under the maintenance account, we also can add the customer. We also can add the customer from the post system, from the sales order. So uh, from the uh, post system, when we add a customer, the information will directly go to the maintenance because uh, some company not open the customer applet to all the employee. So with that question is, will system auto block if the customer over their credit limit and credit terms. So this part we can set notification or we can write the data checking. So if the customer over credit limit over uh, credit terms uh, by the sales invoice transaction, right? So we can just block the customer. So when blocking the customer, we can just set the customer to inactive or backlist the customer so that you're not able to issue any uh, new uh, sales order or new sales invoice to the customer. So the next question, 
if we already put the default pricing scheme for the customer during the transaction, can users select another pricing scheme? Okay, so when you set the default pricing scheme for this customer, right? When you go to the sales uh, invoice or sales order transaction, you are not able to select uh, others pricing scheme. So uh, what you can do, you can change the unit price. Instead of you select the pricing scheme, you just change the unit price. Uh, the answer is still yes, <laughs> but it's not select the another pricing scheme. Okay, so this customer uh, pricing scheme set to the default. Also, we uh, need to check is it the user allowed to view more than one pricing scheme? If the user can view more than one pricing scheme, um, the customer account uh, the sales transaction, uh, you can select another pricing scheme. So it depends on the customer setting and the uh, user setting. Any more questions? Okay, so uh, maybe I add on uh, something for the e-invoice. Okay, so for the e-invoice, this part, uh, if the customer requests any e-invoice uh, from your site, so you need to fill in this data. If not, right, when we send the invoice to uh, LHDN, so this, uh, this transaction will go to the batch pool. So uh, the mandatory field, we need to fill in for the customer that requests for the e-invoice. Grace question is, can we extend the credit limit and or credit terms? Uh, yes, we can extend the credit limit or credit terms. You can add more than one limit or one terms to the customer. So. Uh, because when we uh, write the criteria to check the credit limit, credit terms, right, we can set uh, this uh, to read which credit limit or credit terms first. So you also can extend the customer uh, with the different limit. So additional, additional limit or uh, additional credit terms to the customer. Okay. Any more questions? So if no question, uh, we, I will end my section for the customer maintenance. So uh, thank you, everyone. So if you have any additional question, you can just uh, drop me a telegram to message me. Okay, thank you.